Sometimes I got to think for a minute before I introduce a guest uh, because uh, Sergeant Dan Tom is joining us. And I almost said Lieutenant. I didn't want to promote you without the boss's permission. I'd take the money. I'd Hold on just a second there. You'll take the money? I'll take the money. I have no problem with that. <laughs> I'm just a lowly sergeant. That's all I need to be. <laughs> well, you enjoy your job, though. I love my job. Yeah, I can't. I couldn't have a better job. This is the thing, you know, that, that surprised me when I, I had the note the other day from Andrew Weeks, and he said, there's some concern about recruiting because it seems to me that when I was a young guy coming out of high school in 1980, about half the class wanted to go into law enforcement. And Apparently, those numbers have drastically changed. Oh my goodness! Yeah, we're we're right now we're trying to hire a certified deputy, one certified deputy. We've opened that process up three times now because we can't get certified people that want to come to work for us. We pay well. We start really well. Uh, we have Percy. We have good benefits. I'm we're scratching our head, and not only just the Twin Falls Sheriff's Office, but Ada County, Boise PD, uh, Twin Falls PD. We are we're really uh, begging for good applicants, and we're not getting them. Although you mentioned Boise, and I wonder if some of this, we had the shooting there 10 days ago, and then over the weekend, it just maybe uh, in San Antonio and San Diego and various places, maybe we're starting to see the fruits of all of that where people are just saying, I don't know that it would be worth it. You know, I, I'm going to think you're right. I truly believe, I mean, we're killing a cop a day almost. Um, when you think about that, ambushes, we've, in the last just couple of weeks, we've had at least two ambushes that I remember reading about. Um, so it is a dangerous job. Um, I'm not going to deny that. It's a job that's sometimes thankless, but it's one of the best jobs I've ever worked. I mean, I, I, and when I look at it, I, I think people that want adventure, this is the job. When people that want fulfillment, this is the job. Um, but we're, what we're, I tell you where the issues are at is we're, we're looking at trying to get young people to come into this work. Um, and there's history. they got baggage. And in law enforcement, you can't have much baggage. <laughs> so just give a, an idea. If you, you can't have smoked marijuana in the last three years. You could have never used methamphetamines, or cocaine, or heroin. So we, we cut out. We call out a little bit. Well, I could change that. We call out a lot of people out with the marijuana issue, as you were talking about earlier. Um, and the state of Idaho is what the ones that set these parameters. Um, I don't think they're going to change. I don't think that's in their mind to change the parameters. We don't want to lower the bar. Um, but again, it's, it's getting hard. It's getting hard to find people, um, that haven't done the college, the, the college smoking the weed or, you know, the recreational smoking the weed or, or coming from another state, you know, we're still have that in here. So that's, that is, a, that is a, a road bump that we have to deal with. Right. But I think the bigger road bump is this is a calling job. I don't think this is the job that you just go into. I think it's a job that you really got to be called to. It's a public service job. Um, you work horrible hours. Um, it's, Oftentimes thankless and it's dangerous, um, but we have great employees at the office right now. I just I couldn't tell you how great these guys are, uh, guys and gals. Should should you know say that? So. One of my best friends from high school, uh, he ended up uh, he, he went into the Marine Corps, which was not easy, and then he no. <laughs> he trans, uh, transferred up out basically straight to the Broward County Sheriff's Department in Florida, where again it's a dangerous job yes, because that part of the country has you know some uh, some issues, and he but he, he's he's been there. I think over 30 years yeah. and he just absolutely, it's all he ever wanted to do. And he absolutely, his sister did the same thing. They absolutely love the work. Yeah. And you know, I'll tell you, we got, a, I want to say about 27 of our employees are, are veterans. And so that, it, it's kind of a step. It, it's, it's a military, military minded, military kind of way it's broken down with rank and rank structure and the whole thing. So some of us fit well in that. Some others may not fit well in that. Um, it, there's, it's a good job. I, I tell you, I just, I, I like to appeal to people. If you have the idea, the interest in doing it, um, we we also have reserve programs, and many of the agencies within our um, county have a reserve program to kind of get a, your, you know, put your foot in the water, kind of feel what it's like. That's how I started mine. It was, it was a fun kind of excitement, and then moved into uh, the service part of it. Well, the, the, and I think still in most parts of the community, when you know you tell someone what you do for a living. There's an immediate respect for that, uh, and, and, and maybe more so even in Idaho than in some other parts of the world. But I think that, you know, that that people who are generally in law enforcement can walk around and and and, and get that sort of appreciation that, you know, I walk in someplace and somebody says, "What do you do for a living?" And I say, "I work at a radio station." Oh yeah, yeah I got a brother-in-law who did that. Yeah. You know, and it, it's yeah. no big deal. But on the other hand, people do have some. I would at least to to a degree some respect still for what you're doing. Yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, because. I'll, I'll be straight up. Sometimes I don't tell people what I do for a living because I don't want them to change change gears and tell me about the bad cop that they had uh, that pulled them over or 
um, you know, I, I'm angry with this or with that. So oftentimes I'll, I'll kind of feel them out before I tell them what I do for a living. And that's just on my part. I, I am proud to be a police officer. I, I always have been proud to be a police officer. Um, but there is times where you kind of want to guard it. It's like if you introduce yourself as a pastor, people sometimes they'll even change their... You know what I'm talking about, don't you? You know, <laughs> a lot of friends. Oh, who are let me clean up my like, language yeah. a little bit. <laughs> you know, and with law enforcement, it's the same way. But uh, it is. I'll tell you what. I I have such great respect for the public. Many of the public. Some of the public. I may not have as much respect. Uh, I want to be across the board even. I, I want to give people the opportunity to to you know shine their light too. And I don't. I don't mean that in a judgmental way. I hope I understand yeah. that. Um, but I, I see so often that people um, they thank me. I, you know, the last time when I first started the job, I don't think I got thanked for 15 years. In the last three or four years, people come up and just thank me. It's like shake my hand. I'm going, what? What? Is there a sign on my back? But mentality in Idaho has changed a little bit. They're seeing law enforcement's under attack um, in many places in the U.S. And so I think they're seeing that they want to support. Oh, it's uh, 912, and we wanted to point out Sergeant Dan Tom joining us from the Twin Falls County Sheriff's Department. 45, uh, Bill Colley with you on Top Story on News Radio 1310. KLIX and News Radio 1310.com. For some young person, and you described the fact that they had to, I had an old next door neighbor as a kid. He was a state policeman, and he used to tell us uh, in the neighborhood, the younger guys, you know, if you ever want to do this, you got to keep your nose clean. In yeah. other words, don't do stupid things yeah. if you plan to be in, in law enforcement. But aside from that, what does would be some of the requirements someone would need? Well, yeah, physically fit. Um, Sometimes you look at some of our law enforcement and go, oh, he's not physically fit. But to get into law enforcement, you have to be physically fit. There's a there's a physical test you have to do. There's a written test you have to do. There's a psych test and a polygraph test. That, that's for every agency in in our area that I know of. Um, those are the things you have to have. Um, you can't have you can't have a felony in your past. Um, some misdemeanors you can, uh, depending on what they are. If they're nonviolent kind of misdemeanors, you can have. So yeah, you got to keep your nose clean if you want to keep do this job. And I talk to high school students oftentimes, and I say. If you're interested in law enforcement, you got to look at it now. You can't go and party with your buddies and get the minor consumption ticket or, you know, get a DUI. That's going to change your career forever or change your your ability for your career forever. So, yeah, there's some things like that. But young people that want to serve, I tell you what, a great, great um, CSI has got a great class to do it. Um, uh, Idaho State, I think, has got one in Pocatello. Is that Idaho State in Pocatello? I'm, I'm, I feel bad here if I mix it up. Um, <laughs> Folks in Pocatello, how dare he? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, the there's great great programs to do it, and I, th- I think you're going to see uh, that kind of change. We're going to try to get people local to try to get um, higher instead of hiring somebody out of Boise or, or, or another country, or another not country, but another st- uh, part of the state. A friend of mine got elected uh, sheriff in Onondaga County, New York, in 1994. I think. How do you it was. say that? Onondaga. Onondaga, okay. Named after the Indian tribe. Okay. And uh, he got elected sheriff in that county, and he wanted me to come to work for the department. And I said, I can't do it because of my eyesight. And he said, you can always be my jail de- one of my jail deputies. In other words, he, he said that the requirement would be different if you were looking to be a jail deputy. Is that the same in no, Idaho? It's, it's the same in Idaho. You have the same physical test that you have to do for the patrol test. And I tell you what, I, I totally respect these jail deputies. They're great people to be able to put up with some of the stuff they have to put up with. And they, literally, when I look at that, I go, that's like going to jail every day. You have to work in the jail. And so, you know, to get breaks out. So um, these guys are incredible. These guys and gals are incredible people. You know, I, 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 I really respect them um, in regards to what they do. And, but you can advance quickly in, in the jail division. Oh yeah. Yeah. We, we, a lot of times we'll hire from our patrol out of the jail. This one, we have an opening right now that closes today for patrol. You have to be certified or certifiable. Um, but many, I would say 80% of our deputies on the road come out of the jail. Um, they do a couple years in the jail and they come out and they make great deputies because of the fact they understand dealing with, um, the group of people that they deal with in the jail. Um, uh, the, the hardened criminals, the, the non-hardened criminals, they, they get to know the personalities and, um, what they're like. Cause when I, before I became a cop, I don't think I ever met anybody who'd been in jail. I was like one of those goody two shoe guys, you know? And so for me to get somebody to tell me they're going to kill me and cut my throat and, and, you know, kill my family, that scared the death out of me. Those guys in the jail have to understand that where these guys are coming from, that's a kind of a common occurrence there. I had a friend's son who, who, was, uh, who was working in that situation, and he said, uh, he finally said to somebody who threw a bucket of slop at him one day, I won't go into what was in right, the slop, yeah, yeah. but he said, hey, you mess up my clothes, I get to go home, you still have to stay here. And he said, after that, it calmed things down. Yeah, yeah they have different personality that you have to have. I, you have to have pretty thick skin, I think. 
Um, even in the patrol, I think you have to have some pretty thick skin. If someone so, wanted to apply, do they just walk into the office? Um, Twin Falls County website. Look at our website because we have, like I said, we have one opening right now. There's actually openings for the county a lot of times at the Twin Falls, but not the Twin Falls Sheriff's website, the Twin Falls County website. Um, and I'll, I'll talk for the city, too. They're down four or five officers right now, so they're needing people, too. So if you have an interest in law enforcement, man, start looking local because we love to hire local people because it's better. Um, I don't say, shouldn't say better. It's good for them to be into their community and how they've invested in the community and how they can invest back into it. So. You know where the roads are, though, and you know the names of the roads, yeah. and you know the names of the people you see. Yeah, that's exactly it. You know personalities. You know that if you're going to deal with this this area of town or this person or uh, this group of people, you know a little bit about it because you've been here and you've had the history to do it. So, it, it Again, it is, it is not the easiest of jobs, but as you pointed out, you, you're now into a good retirement system. Yes. There's a, probably a better pen, benefits package than you would get working at the mall, I'm yes. sure. So all of those things should be a factor in attracting someone. I think so. We start, we're starting at really close to $19 an hour, which I think is a good wage. I mean, it's a great wage. More Gosh, if I, you're 21, 22 years old, I would assume oh, it would yeah. be. Oh, yeah. I, I started at nine fifty, I think, in, <laughs> or 20 years ago. But um, that's a great wage. And, I, again, we're on Percy, which is the you have a pension process with it. Um, you, you know, when I, as I'm looking towards, towards retirement now, a pension thing looks like a pretty good thing. You know, we just got it in the last couple of years. So um, there's a good possibility, good thing there. Um, our benefits are always getting better with new commissioners, old commissioners, whatever it might be, that it changes. And I, I, I just foresee that there could be some good things on the horizon for us. See the problem with the younger folks. I was listening to Cal Thomas on a radio show one time and he said, in God we trust has been replaced by ATM. And, uh, and so they, <laughs> you're 25, you're not really thinking about retirement. No, no, and I wish I did because I'd be probably retired by now. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Um, yeah, and you know, it's a this generation uh, they call them millennials. It's a different training um, challenge for us too. There's we have to train a little bit different to, because they think a little different than when my me or you were 25 years old. There's a different mentality in regards to technology, um, regards to um, community, what community means, and what um, what's expected and what. Uh, what's received. It's a, it's a different mentality. Yeah, I, I might have been close to 25 before I finally even put my fingers on a computer keyboard. Uh, I think I, I was. using a typewriter <laughs> right up until then. And yeah. they wouldn't know what a typewriter was today in right. that situation. Yeah. And the, you know, even this, uh, when I first uh, started and I had got younger guys and they would text me when they were not going to come to work. I said, no, 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 no. You need to call me. I need to hear your voice. <laughs> and so now texting is just a big part of everything. Um, but they wouldn't understand that. I'm beginning to understand it. That's the com lines of communication that go along with it. So, Well, I wish you good luck. And uh, hopefully someone hearing this today is yeah. getting a little encouragement. And to, great. To go Twin Falls County Sheriff's a great place to work, too. I, I, absolutely. It's a great family, um, a great future. Uh, I, I just see great things coming. I use great a lot there. I should probably use another word. But um, wonderful things coming out of what's coming up in the future. You get to work with guys like Sergeant Mensel, you know, all these nice, nice absolutely. people. Absolutely. And, and... Great guys at the department. I use great again. i got to get a new word, Bill. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know about his choices in football teams, but um... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> then again, if he graduated from there, I yeah, it's probably true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. You bet. Anytime. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and you too.